and welcome to Special Point Blank video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a donk. Now you might be thinking, donk, isn't that just for Kharbasa and uh, for Scouts House? But no, 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 it's not just for Russians and Northerners. It can also be used in pretty much any genre. In fact, the donk that we're going to be using is the one that Ski made for his 1KS deconstruction by Calvin Harris. Uh, you can download the patch below, but why would you? I'm literally going to show you how to make it in one minute with Ables and Live Analog. Keep in mind, I'm making a very, very basic donk here. If you want to go something a little bit more advanced, with a bit more punch and a little bit more variety, then you're going to have to go into FM Synthesis. Now, if you guys are actually keen on that, drop a comment below, drop a like, and let me know, and maybe we'll make an advanced donk tutorial. Anyways, what we need to do is open a new live set, drop in a analog. If you don't have analog because you're using something like FL Studio, 3 OSC should work for FL users, and I think ES2 should work for Logic users. Basically, anything that just has a single oscillator, filter envelope, that's pretty much all you need. Alright, so in analog, what we're going to do is firstly change the shape of the wave to a square wave, turn off the second oscillator, I'm going to drop the octave down by one, and then I'm also going to put the pitch width all the way up to 100. That's what it sounds like right now. Make sure your filter is set to 24 dB, and then we're going to drop the sustain all the way, drop the decay slightly, release, yeah, we can leave it at 250. We need to adjust the cutoff envelope because that will adjust how the filter affects this sound. We want this just to be about one. You can have it slightly higher. I found that having it slightly higher, just a bit over one gives a bit more punch. All right, now we're going to adjust the filter and you should hear a massive difference. So we're gonna put the filter up to about 300. Okay, and then we put the resonance up to about 50 to 60. We're pretty much already there. Now, finally, you go into your amp and you want to go and drop the decay slightly down as well. Release, you can leave out about the same and just turn the sustain all the way down. And then we have a dog. How easy is that? Now, you might hear that with this dog, it's not got too much low end. Uh, I might turn off this amp up as well. There we go. But a quick little cheat that you can get a little bit more low end is just turn on the second oscillator and drop that as a sine wave. And that will work well for a, a quick little donk bass. However, of course, if you want to make some proper banging scouts house, hard bus, that kind of stuff, you're going to need to put a bunch of effects on it. So I've already created a little project and let's go take a look at that. Prepare your ears. Awesome. Basically what I did there is got your classic offbeat donk bass. But what I did was I added a sub bass layer on top of that donk. So with the regular donk I filtered out the low end. And then I've also added an echo on it and I think echo makes it sound so good. Because you gotta remember, this is basically like your top bass. It's not really doing anything for the low end, so putting something like an echo reverb on it can make it sound really, really wide. So if we take the echo off, look at this. Sounds really boring. And now that sounds a lot better. I've also added a little glue compressor here to add a bit more punch to that donk. And also we've got a chorus on the donk sound itself, because the chorus does a little bit of modulation, so each donk sounds slightly different. And don't just think that this is the only kind of music you can use the donk in. I mean, I don't even know what this is, but I think it sounds good for donk. And here I'm doing exactly the same thing. I've filtered out the low end of the donk, and then I've just added a little bit of a drone bass. But the donk itself, just, it just sounds great, man. And that's it. Go out there, make your one minute donk, put a couple of effects on it, and do what the Blackout Crew says, and just put a banging, banging donk, donk on it. it.
Anyways, check out pointblankmusicschool.com. Yes, this is an April Fool's joke. But if you do seriously want to learn how to make dongs, make sure you go and check us out. There'll be plenty more good content to come out in the future. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you later. And uh, if you make some good tracks or some sick dongs, leave them in the comments. I want to listen to some donk tracks. Let's go! Take it easy, and I'll see you next time.